hello and welcome back to my channel so actually in the last video uh, as i told you that there was uh, no profit but actually i was wrong uh, there was just a little bit error in the code which i came to know just seconds after i stopped the recording so basically the problem was that at that time in the code uh, what we were considering as the current capital over here i had just written capital so this value was just getting pasted the capital value so because of which we were not able to see any gain over there but if we had changed it to current capital so this value actually is storing the previous profits and then adding the new profit to it okay so if uh, now i have made the changes so now i'll just run this code again to show you guys how exactly it is working so again all these signals that we were getting okay so it is done now let's just open this data frame and as you can see we have got a good amount of profit so from 1 lakh we have reached to around 1 lakh 28,000 so these numbers will actually change as per the slippage you keep and if we add the brokerage to it then again it will change accordingly so over here if I just uh, you know keep slippage as zero right then if you see the profit that we get would be more so we've just done all these things all right so let's just change check the data frame now so if you can see we have got one like thirty two thousand now right so depending on that depending on the slippage uh the how much uh, profit we have would change and obviously if we add a lot of brokerage to it then if we take the brokerage as well then uh, the strategy might go into loss as well so this has happened many times so if you really have a very good strategy then only you need uh, to be able to you know backtest it and then you should go into the automation section okay so this is just an example Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to save this data frame to a CSV file in this specified location. Why I'm doing that is because we are going to use a library called PyFolio. So this PyFolio uh, gives this entire report to us regarding the strategy that we have used. Okay. So once we, uh, you know install this so you'll be able to install it using this command i've already done that but after doing that we'll be able to see but this try this uh, pyfolio you know shows these tables only in the jupyter book so i'll be opening the jupyter book again so before that what i'll do is now i'll give a command to open the jupyter book okay so we have opened the notebook now and i'm gonna create a new file here so i didn't use jupyter book before is that is because i am more comfortable with using spider but the backtest reports are seen uh, in a much better way in the jupyter book so that is why we we're gonna use that so let's just import these libraries and now import pyfolio spf okay now we need to enter this data frame pd.read csv and now we'll copy this entire location okay so over here if you can see the we are getting some error right now but this error isn't actually this is just a warning so it isn't much applicable but still okay so we have now imported this data frame wherein we had you know received all the signals and the capital okay so now we are going to do uh, what we are going to do is as this is a csv file i'm probably sure that this date time isn't a date time value but a string value according to python so let's just tell python that this is a 
डेट टाइम वैल्यू वी नीड दिस टू बी अ डेट टाइम बिकॉज ऑफ पाई फोलियो सो पाई फोलियो वुड रिक्वायर दैट टू बी इन अ डेट टाइम फॉर्मेट ओके सो Two day time then all right so once we have done that now we need to set it as an index again as we if you remember we had done earlier while importing all the data so let's just do that again if is good. all right so we have done this now uh, the another thing that we need to do is that we need the percentage change of the capital so i'm going to create a new column called capital g okay so in this what we are going to do is we are going to get the capital changes daily changes that has happened in the capital capital dot percent all right Uh, we have got a error over here what is the error all right so now let's just check we are getting a keyword error as capital what i had about this capital value before okay so i ah uh, yeah there was just a little bit of error in that but okay never mind <coughs> right so the next step that we need to do is we need to call this pyfolio function so that it will calculate all the returns that we need to see so the calling this command is extremely easy and just using the one line it will just create the entire uh, backtest report for us so this is the frame this is the column with the capital change okay so we're just going to run this so over here it gave us an entire report which we needed so annual return is 7% cumulative return is 27% and the max drawdown was just 7% for us all right so this is the worst drawdown periods that uh, or present all right so this actually the data set is really small right now so it isn't showing much so okay uh, this is the cumulative returns that we would have got if we were running the strategy and then this these are the returns and then this is the volatility now the sharpie ratio if you want me to make a detailed video on all these parameters then uh, write it in the comment section okay so these are the five uh, drawdown periods that this has identified so these have been highlighted this was the worst period actually this was one of the longest period wherein we were in the entire drawdown but never mind so this is the underwater plot we were in the 7% drawdown at this time but then later we recovered so this is the monthly returns that are present over here all right and now uh, this is the annual returns okay so as you can see this is the entire uh, report which we got just with a single command now if you want to you know check 
the maximum net profit so the basic thing to do is that max into bracket yes this is the maximum profit all right so this is the maximum loss that we did okay so uh, if you want to see the number of buy trades and the number of sell trades then uh, what we're gonna do is this okay so c is equal to df dot group by signal and n is equal to g dot get group by so 460 were the buy trades and out of these buy trades how many were winning trades so if you want to find that so simplest thing that we can do is So there are multiple ways you can do this but I think this is one of the way which I have done it earlier. So we are just gonna go through the all the buy trades so n into bracket net profit net profit if this is greater than zero which means that the signal has been a buy all right so we'll just calculate we'll just uh, save all these trades all right profit I'll just create a list and then profit dot append this value. Uh, so we'll just run this snippet and then then so 173 were profitable. So as you can see, uh, out of 460, only 173 were profitable. And a similar step you can do for the sell trade. So if you want to see the sell trades, just enter sell here. And as you can see in sell section, 391 were uh, number of trades and out of which only 147 were in profit. But overall we are in profit and as you can see this is the entire report which we got. So if you have any doubts or if you need any further explanation, please drop down in the comment section. Thank you.